Hey, Firefox and Omer.
Hey everybody! How's it going? Good morning! Oh, I'm stuck on the cable. Hang on. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Thank you for those hosts, guys. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the host, Myth, Conceived Access, and BU. Hi. And thank you for the follow, BU. Welcome. <clears throat> hey, Anycraft. You love that I do a pre-stream workout? Well, I'm just starting to do that. It's a new thing. Uh, this is my first stream of 2018, and I thought, let's kick it off right. And today, I'm still recovering from being sick, and so uh, I decided I'm just going to do a little mild stretching, because it's not good to work out when you're sick at all. <laughs> And so I just did some stretching today with Manly, <laughs> my cat. So yeah, we're going to maybe do this every stream now on Tuesdays and Fridays. We'll be doing a pre-stream workout, gaming, and then a post-stream vegan cook. So I'll, today I'll be cooking a vegan stir-fry after stream. Doing pretty good. I'll be working on my bullet journal, listening, watching the stream. Awesome, Danny. Sounds great. I'm doing better. I'm feeling a lot better today. Definitely getting there. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry if I cough a lot today, guys. I am sick. I'm on day four yoga. Great. Seems like a cool place to get motivated. Yes, definitely. That's what I, I hope to do. Um, I am part of uh, Power Up Health, which is a community inspiring gamers to live healthier lives through nutrition, fitness, and mindfulness. And um, I hope to inspire people to be healthy and live healthier lives. So that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's hot in here now. <laughs> when you're sick, uh, working out is a no-no because your body's doing so much other stuff. And um, even just stretching, like I could really feel like I was feeling winded from stretching, <laughs> which doesn't usually happen. But because, you know, I'm, I'm getting over a cold, it just, ugh, ugh. And I guess you're really hot, you get hot more quickly. <laughs> I noticed something when you did your workout, the cam seemed a little bit blurry. Did anyone else see it or is just my screen? Um, blurry. Well, there is an overlay on it where it has a dark background. So it's kind of in the fog of workout. <laughs> oh, welcome to Power Up on Discord, BU. Glad you joined. Thank you. Nice to see ya. What are we going to be doing in Stardew Valley today? Uh, well, today is my first day. Why is, is the sound like really messed up? I feel like it's coming through many weird places. Hang on. For some reason, I'm getting my desktop audio through my headphones and I don't know why. Let me know if the sound's weird. Um, it was a tiny bit blurry. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll have to check. Um, it's a new camera. I just got it, and so I just hooked it up last night, so I'm still trying to figure it out. But I am going to be working on my wilderness farm, and I'll be doing uh, the first day of spring year three today, so we'll be planting lots of crops. Can you get the alien appear on your console version? May many have never tried. Um, not that I know of, no. I don't think you can. I don't think you can get him to appear on the console version. <clears throat> The sound's fine. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. I need to go get some tissue to have here at my desk, so I'll be right back.
Okay. I'm back. Can I do a quick farm tour? Yeah, I'll do a farm tour. Sure. Why not? <laughs> so guys, today's pretty exciting. I um, redid the soundboard. So if you're watching on Mixer, there is a brand spanking new soundboard for your enjoyment to play with, including new workout buttons. So that's exciting. New workout buttons, new info buttons, new musings. <laughs> so check it out. <clears throat> you got into day 15 of fall year seven. Wow. Okay, so this is the first day of spring year three when grandpa comes and visits the farm. My dearest granddaughter, it's been many years since we last spoke. You were just a little girl. Do you remember? Look how far you've come. Thank you for the host, Athlon, dude. Thank you for spreading that joy. Can we get a shout out for Athlon, who is a fellow member of Team Power Up? Please. <clears throat> Though you may have forgotten me, I've been here all along. <laughs> hey, Athlon, how's it going? Hi. Am I in chat on Discord? I'm not today, conserved, ac conceived access. I am not. I am not on Discord today. <clears throat> you see, my body has departed this world, but my heart will always remain in the Stardew Valley. I'm good finally through getting wet for one day. <laughs> oh, and your fish tank. How's the fish tank going? I saw your picture today. Are the uh, catfish surviving still? Do you still have two? It looks so fun. I love fish tanks. They're so cool. I can never have one myself, but I love them. <laughs> Gotta love the 20 second delay for you. Oh, uh, Firefox. I'm sorry. I figured there was, so I just went ahead and did it. <laughs> You've been here two years now. I'm so proud of you, my dear. Grandpa looks like Santa to me, which is always a good sign. My heart will always remain in Stardew. He does, yeah. No, I'm not in chat on Discord today, Axis. No, I'm not in voice chat because I'm playing a single player game. I only get in voice chat on Discord when I'm playing multiplayer. Hey, Corbin Johnson, how are you today? You're a better farmer than I ever was, and you've brought great honor to the family name. I can feel it now. My spirit is finally put to rest. Bless you. I love what your green screen does to your smoothie. Oh, I know. It turns it invisible. I'm drinking a green smoothie, and so it's invisible. <laughs> it said two years, yeah, because I'm on the first day of year three. So I've done two years already. <clears throat> Catfish are good. Got some more. I had an African sea child kick it, though. Oh, no. Mm, sad fishies. I have two years have passed, is what it said, Anti-Craft. So I have had two years pass, and I'm starting year three, if that makes sense. The future of Fantastical Farm is in your hands now. Farewell. <laughs> and that was our visit from Grandpa. <laughs> okay. So it is spring year three, Monday, day one. This is my my lovely abode. I'm married to Elliot, so this is Elliot's room right here. Bye, Grandpa. Yeah, bye, Grandpa. <laughs> See you next year. So it is spring year three, day one. Let's check the, the TV weather report. <clears throat> it's going to be clear and sunny all day. Ah, yes, I can hear the spirits whispering. Elliot's pretty awesome. Oh yeah, it's okay, Anycraft, it gets confusing. <laughs> the spirits are very happy today. They'll do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. Well, that's good. Living off the land. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. Alright, not much to say there. Hey, Elliot, I got millions of pomegranates for you. I've already got him up to uh, a bajillion stars, so we're good there. 
Red lace. This is a beautiful gift. Thank you. <laughs> My New Year's resolution is to write, write, and write. I can never stop improving my skills. Indeed, one can never. So I had a baby. I don't know if you guys knew this or not. But I have a baby now. I can't remember his name. Is that bad? <laughs> uh, Ken. My baby's name is Ken. <laughs> You'll see why when I name the second one. <laughs> Abby broke your heart. Oh, this is my upstairs in my house in the kids' room. I went with the wilderness theme, as you can see. <laughs> I've been watching your videos for a while, but I've never actually caught you live. Oh, well, I'm glad you did, Ryan. Nice to finally get to chat with you. How are you today? So I've got my casks working in my cellar. To make the most money in spring on higher years, I'd plant cauliflower and buy strawberry seeds, and that would be my farm. That's a good technique, yeah. Definitely a good technique. Ooh, what is these? Oh, we can't see the other candles. <laughs> I have a tree in the way. <laughs> we'll have to go take a peek. <laughs> Hi, Red Lace. Are you free this afternoon? I finally got my act together, and I'm doing my art show tonight in the town square. Come into town between 3 and 5 if you want to be there. I'm doing pretty good, Ryan. I'm just getting over a cold, so I might sound a little... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and I apologize, but I'm just getting over a cold, so I'm feeling pretty happy that I'm feeling up to being a person again and not laying in bed. <laughs> I love the commentary. Well, thank you, Athlon. I try. <laughs> Even through my sick. <laughs> All right. Dear Red Lace, you're such a good neighbor. I thought I'd send over some animal feed to make your job easier. Keep it up, Marnie. 30, hey. Thanks, Marnie. Hey. <laughs> hey, girl, hey. Where's my sword? Oh, here it is. Okay, so I haven't played Stardew in a little while. Um, I've been waiting off stream so I could show you guys year one of spring because I was sick, so I haven't played it in like a week and a half or two weeks. I think two weeks. So, um, I might be a little rusty on the controls, so bear with me. <laughs> I always marry Leia because she's the cutest. Uh, Leia is pretty cute, Masimov. I agree. Gotta love those redheads. Wink, wink. <laughs> I'm not biased, I swear. <laughs> so, growing some fruit trees out here. This one looks to be impeded by a stump and some rubbish. Um, but I'm growing some fruit trees out here, and I also have one I just planted right here by the greenhouse. Um, I got my slime hutch over here. <clears throat> Gotta get rid of all this rubbish on my farm starting the new year. There's always junk everywhere. Gotta get rid of all the junk. Gotta check on that statue. Alright, so I can't see my other two candles, but it looks like I got all four lit. Because if you have all four lit, you get the Statue of Perfection! That's why you said it. Wink back. Yeah. <laughs> Leia and Elliot are your favorites, Omer. Nice. They seem to go together in the game. If you uh, notice at events, they're always staying next to each other. Yeah, I know you already did this, but first I would always try and get as many hearts as Marnie so I can get the free hay. By the way, I thought it was pronounced Leah. Um, it might be Leah. I've always done it Leia, just because I knew a girl named Leia in school, and her name was spelled L-E-A-H, and she pronounced it Leia. Um, so I just roll with that. <laughs> but it might be Leah, I don't know. Leah, Leia, tomato, tomato, potato, potato, I don't know. <laughs> you married Penny, you think she's the cutest. Penny is pretty adorable, too. <clears throat> Ryan Sunghavi, thank you for joining our Discord. Welcome to the cluster. Hello, LW Game Time. What's going on? You found a peculiar statue behind Grandpa's shrine. Yes, I did indeed. Okay, so we got this thing. The Statue of Perfection. It's made of pure iridium. So, we're gonna go... We can stick this anywhere now. We can stick it outside, really. Oh, would you look at that. Would you look at that. We're gonna stick this right here, I think right by the door and then every day it'll make some really cool stuff for us 
Oh, I forgot to go to the greenhouse. Oops, back we go. <laughs> Dark magic. <laughs> Indeed. Looks like a gummy bear. It really does, actually, now that you mention it, BU. It totally looks like a gummy bear. I agree. <laughs> It's an adorable, scrumptious gummy bear that's going to get me to upgrade the rest of my tools because I still have to upgrade my axe and my hoe, so works for me. This is my mining room. Ta-da! <clears throat> Same, but I have a girl in her class and her name is Leah and she pronounces it Leah. It doesn't matter, you do you. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, so I think it's just a matter of preference and maybe, who knows? They're making it confusing on us by making different pronunciations, aren't they? Just got an idea, when you, uh, the update comes out, the signs Eric Brown talked about, you could put one of the Statue of Perfection and one of the Statue of Endless Fortune and call the Manly and Lexus. <laughs> You're a beast at this game. Oh, thanks. I, uh, I've been playing a lot. Um, I've been playing Stardew Valley since the day it launched on PC. Um, I'm on my sixth playthrough, I think. Um, I think I've done every farm. This was the last one. I think I hadn't done Wilderness, and so I'm doing Wilderness Farm. But yeah, I've been playing this game for a long time. It's one of my favorites. I really like it. It's so casual. It's great. Great, relaxing game. I have grass problems around my fruit trees. This has got to go. We need space around these. The grass can be planted later because my fruit trees haven't finished growing yet, so I have to keep them free of rubbish. No rubbish. <laughs> so this is my fruit and berry and girly shed. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alright, let's check on the animals and let them out because I've been trapped, I've trapped them in there all winter. We'll go check on them and then let them out so they don't run amok while I'm trying to deal with them. Plus I need to plant grass and stuff. <clears throat> do you play this game, Do you? Is this a game you play? Do you have the Junima plushie? I do have the Junima plushie, LW. I do. <clears throat> Notice, just so you remember the Egg Festival is on the 13th of spring, just to remind you. <laughs> Thank you. Handicraft, thank you. Alright, so we've checked out all the animals. Can I put this hay in here? Put that back. Let's open the gates. Come on out, fellows. So I think wool that's iridium rating is actually better to cash in as just wool than it is to um, make into car cloth. I've been trying to discover if this is better or worse, but I think it's better to just cash in the wool at iridium value than to make it into cloth, because it just comes out regular. It doesn't get a rating. <coughs> Sorry, guys. We did do a hat in time again. It's such an amazing game. Actually listening to the soundtrack right meow. Awesome, Omer. Played a little bit. I got through year one. Oh, nice. Bounce around games a lot. Yeah, I do too. I always seem to come back to Stardew, mostly because a lot of viewers request it, um, but I also just find it really casual, so when I'm not feeling well, I tend to play it a lot. Oh, it started pouring down rain. <laughs> I want to play this. It is so cute. I want to play that, the hat in time. Yeah, Omar was telling me about that. I gotta check it out. Have you gotten the greenhouse yet? Yes, I have. I uh, went into it just a little bit ago. It's on sale right now. I'll have to take a look. Okay, so we're going to drop these back off, put that in there. All the animals have come out. <laughs> I need to go get grass from Pierre and plant grass so they have grass to eat outside. I'm also set aside a plot for just grass for growing, which is going to be right over here. So this is going to be an animal-free zone right here, just to grow grass. Okay. Getting rid of all the rubbish. Let's check on the chickens and the wabbits and the ducks. <laughs> Ugh, rosemary. Out of the way.
Hey, this is Off Topic, but as donating to your Patreon, the only way to get access to your realm. Uh, you can also sub to me on Game Wisp, Ryan, so you can pledge on Patreon to my team, Team Power, which is inspiring gamers to live healthier lives through nutrition, fitness, and mindfulness. Or you can subscribe to me on Game Wisp at Red Lace Gaming, and uh, the link's on my website at redlacegaming.com. Or you can just go to gamewisp.com slash redlacegaming, maybe one of my mods can post that at Firefox uh, when he hears that. <laughs> Um, but you can get to it either, get access either way. Either way, we'll get you access. <clears throat> so we're just cleaning up the farm a little bit, and then we're going to go buy seeds, and it's getting kind of late, so I probably should go do that sooner than later. Um, I think I mostly got the farm cleaned up anyhow. Let's go get seeds. <clears throat> Come back and get that. we got to get there before it's too late. And the store's close. It's been so rainy today. Pretty depressing. Oh no. <clears throat> Not the kind of good kind of rain, the kind that comes with winds that make a horrible mess, and if you go outside for around 10 seconds, you get soaked. That doesn't sound fun. It doesn't sound fun at all. Okay, we're gonna um, sell these things. I should have dropped that off. I didn't. Um, shoot. So we're gonna drop these off. Got a geode for Clint to break, and I got some cheese to take inside. All sorts of things going on here. So these all need to go elsewhere. We're just gonna do this, and I can organize when I get to the shop. How is Omer the duck doing okay? He is, yeah. Last I checked, he's happy as a clam. <laughs> Omer the duck is fully starred. Oh, and I almost missed Leia's event. Oops. <laughs> Might have been bad. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. Ugh. I'm going to sneak into Lurk now, I'm going to try to be productive. I can't wait to come back and hang out with y'all more. Great, BU. I'm so glad you uh, enjoyed your time here, and I hope to see you and chat with you again. Feel free to lurk away. Lurkers are always welcome. <laughs> Red Lace, you're here. Okay, I guess I better get, better introduce my pieces. Wish me luck. Good luck, Leia, Leia, Leia. <laughs> Annie Craft, thank you for joining the cluster on Discord. Welcome. Is the real duck version of me good for your business? <laughs> Real duck. <laughs> the real Omer. <laughs> um, okay, everyone. Thanks for coming to my art show. <laughs> Lurkers welcome. Lurking intensifies. <laughs> awesome, massy move. <laughs> awesome. Lurk away. As some of you know, I came to this town because I wanted to draw inspiration from the beautiful surroundings. <clears throat> oh, I just like yanked my cord on my headphones. I'm so sick, guys. <laughs> this place really feels like home now. Okay, I'm going to introduce my sculptures now. I haven't named this one yet. She started out as an exercise in human anatomy. But I ended up seeing her through to completion. Her expression is intentionally unclear. Is she embarrassed? Amused? Pained? I'll leave that for you to decide. <laughs> this one's called post-dimensional null space. It represents the boundary of human imagination. The shape and color came to me vividly when I was in a trance state. <clears throat> I'd say that one looks like she was hopped up on Cocoa Puffs. <coughs> I've been calling this one Eggheads. I wanted to create an animatronic humanoid statue to toy with the viewer's ability to properly attribute personhood to a physical entity. I think it's pronounced Leah, not Leah. Leah as like the character from the Bible. 
I don't know the Bible characters, so I'm gonna leave that to your knowledge. <laughs> but I'm gonna roll with Leia, just because that's what I've always called her, and I'm gonna just keep doing it that way. I'm pretty sure the statue next to you, you can obtain it by getting a certain amount of hearts with Leia. I'm not quite sure how many. Yeah, I actually have that one. I am, I got it really early. I don't remember when, but it's in my living room of my house. <laughs> Thanks for the tip, Craft. You think Leia's an addict? <laughs> she might be. We don't know. <laughs> or she's got a very vivid imagination. And the last one is called Wood Sculpture 3. It's a celebration of my favorite sculpting material, wood. <coughs> Shocker. <laughs> well, those are my sculptures. Oh, one last thing. I'd like to say thanks to my special friend, Red Lace. She gave me the idea for this show and the courage to go through with it. I know that sounds cheesy, but it's true. <clears throat> I'm proud of you, Leia. Events like this really- Ooh, I'm not talking in Leia's voice anymore. Now you guys got me all messed up with her, her name. <coughs> I'm proud of you, Leia. Events like this really breathe life into our little town. <laughs> I love the voice you do for Leah. Aw, oh, thanks. I love your art, Leah. Post-dimensional mole space is my favorite. I feel like wood would be difficult to sculpt with, Leah. J just use clay. <laughs> it could be Ryan, yeah. It wouldn't surprise me. Leah's favorite material is wood, giggles. <laughs> thanks for doing this. <clears throat> uh, it's so hard to do all my voices because my voice is gone itself, so it's like I'm already talking funny, so it's hard to do other people's voices. <laughs> Apologies if they're off today. Thanks, everyone. <clears throat> yeah, I call her that too here because of the crazy government. We actually have Bible class from two grade to matriculation exams. Oh, wow. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah, we uh, keep them separate. True, true. It'd be hard to sculpt with wood. Yeah, it'd be more like um, carvings than sculptures. Love my Haley voice. That one's always fun. Now let's start the bidding on these wonderful art pieces. A marvelous addition to your home. Do I hear 5,000 gold for the pink one? <coughs> I'll be right back, guys. Voice is killing me. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> It'd be such a cool easter egg if there was a way to get these statues. Yeah. One eternity later? Ten centuries later? What happened? What's happening? Was I slow? I, I just had to blow my nose and stuff, so... Apologies. But I'm sick. <laughs> I'm looking for someone to bring me 35 copper ores for inspection. Clint. 360 gold on delivery, and you can keep the ores after Clint inspects them. Not today, Clint. Sorry, I'm busy. I gotta buy some stuff. Thank you for the host, Jules. Thank you for spreading that joy. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. If you guys haven't checked out Jules, he is a, another streamer for Power Up, Team Power Up. He's an awesome guy, and uh, definitely give him a follow if you haven't already. <laughs> Rainbow Six! Hey! How's it going? How was your stream? Did you just wrap up? <coughs> What's the quest Exotic Spirits? I don't remember what it is. Um, the Exotic Spirits. Uh, let's look. Uh, Gus wants me to make a cocoa no-no, but he's missing the main ingredient. Bring Gus a coconut. I actually forgot about that, so I need to do that. 
heading to work just wanted to show support oh thanks jules i appreciate that have a great day work today thank you for uh, that host and coming by no stream till this evening all right well maybe i'll try to swing by tonight have a good day <laughs> okay buying stuff so we're probably gonna plant a little bit of everything because you know <laughs> That's how we go, but we definitely need some grass starters, so we're gonna get some of those. I have 60 grand, so we should be able to get a lot. Thank you for the follow, Pillowy Mars, you're fantastical, Mia. Welcome to the stream. Ah, uh, thanks, Jules. <laughs> so we're gonna get lots of grass. I'm gonna just buy like 100 of them. Just plant them all over the place. Come on. 100, okay. Grass, check. Should we start from the bottom? We'll get 16 of these. I like to get things in quantities of eight um, for most plots because that's how many plots are around a sprinkler. So you have eight plots. So if you do them in quantities, you can kind of grid lay out your farm. Need to get back to that game. <laughs> it's a fun one, Ardent Fury. It's fun. I would do a super chat for $5 so my parents won't let me. Oh, sorry to hear that, Danny Craft. I appreciate the thought, though. <clears throat> so we're going to get 16 jazz. We're going to do tulip honey, I think, so we need just a bunch of these. Um, we'll do 24, and that should get us for now. We will do 24 kale. Kale's a good money maker. Um, we'll do 16 potatoes. We're going to do quantities of 9 for cauliflower, because I'm still trying to grow a giant cauliflower. So we're going to go with 36. <clears throat> we want lots of cauliflower because it's a good grower. To save my math, I just do 36 as high as I go, and then I just plop it into a pile. <laughs> so it makes life easier, unless you're really into math. I'm not. <laughs> Like using my greenhouse and have strawberries on day one. Also, rhubarb is surprisingly good. Yeah, I have lots of strawberries, but I'm not sure if I have lots of strawberry seeds. I should check. I think I was making a bunch. So I should have a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and they might be in my greenhouse, so I'll have to go check. Maybe you can remind me when I get back there. All right, beans. We do in quantities of three because I do them on the front rows of things. So we're just going to get 12 of these. Oops, I did too many. 15. <laughs> Parsnips we don't really need, but we'll just get a bunch. It doesn't really matter, we'll just go to 100. It'll just be kind of filler. Filler things. Yeah, it's weird. It would be so much easier to donate to power from person, but online you need to hook everything up to a credit card, and it's so difficult. Well, when you're an adult, you usually have credit cards already hooked up to everything, so it's pretty easy. But when you're younger, yes, it is a little more complicated. With how good of a YouTuber you are, I'm surprised that there are only five people watching. If they leave, you always have one watcher anyway. Well, you know, it's not very nice to point out how many or how little people are watching. It's kind of like streamer etiquette. <laughs> it's just not very polite. I'm actually multi-streaming right now, so there's people watching on YouTube, Twitch, and Mixer. Mixer is my primary streaming platform. I love Mixer. I can't recommend it enough. If you're not watching me on Mixer, check me out at mixer.com slash redlacegaming. I always upload my streams to YouTube when I'm done if I don't stream to YouTube, but I'm always streaming to Mixer, and I sometimes stream to Twitch. Today is one of those days. <laughs> hey, can I get your Patreon perks if, you get, if I give you my Netflix password? No, and I do not recommend you share any of your personal information. It's against chat rules. Hey, Capri Sun, how are you? How's it going today? Nice to see you. Happy New Year. Melon Jelly also brings in a lot of gold. Oh, that's good to know. That's good to know, Arden. All the seeds from the desert are really good. They're some of the best for their seasons. I need to go to the desert and get seeds, don't I? I should do that. Okay, so that, that'll give us probably not enough seeds. Um, should we just do a ton of cauliflower, maybe? Let's just rack up 100 cauliflower. I know I already got like 108 of them, but I think cauliflower is going to be where it's at. And I also like 
tulips because they're pretty. <laughs> and we'll get lots of jazz because they're pretty. And then we'll go to the desert and get um, seeds from her tomorrow. So we'll go out to the desert tomorrow and get those. Thanks for streaming to Twitch today, your bae. <laughs> You're welcome, Mazumov. <laughs> yes. So is your farm basically gonna just be every crop for spring? Oh yeah. Yeah, I, crap a, I craft a little bit of everything, or I grow a little bit of every crop. I like to have a variety. So let's see if I have seeds for spring here or queued up. This is my spring chest. So it looks like I have 74 strawberry seeds, 34 rhubarb, those are from the desert. Um, <coughs> coffee beans, we want to get those going. So I like to put one of every seed in here so I know what's for what season. So those are our spring seeds. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, hi, Arison. Nice to see you. Happy New Year. How are you? And you're welcome. I think melon is better in wine. Usually the more expensive fruits are better in wine and the cheaper fruit are better in jelly. Well, that's interesting. I've never paid attention to that. This is a good idea, so if you need one for a quest, you'll always have it. Yeah, I, I agree. Okay, so let's get my flowers going first because they are over in the weird spot in the corner and we're gonna need some speed growth so they grow more quickly. So this is my flower honey making area. And let's go get the fertilizer, which is way over yonder. I should have grabbed it before I walked over, but I didn't. <laughs> okay, fertilizer. Deluxe speed grow. Speed grow. Okay, we want deluxe speed grow. We're gonna need lots of regular fertilizer too. Thank you for the follow, Clouds Revenge. You're fantastical, meow. Welcome to the stream. Hi, Happy New Year to you too. I'm doing pretty good. Thanks. Hope you had a great holiday. I did. Thanks, Eris, and I hope you did too. Yeah, I've been sick since New Year's, so that's kind of been a bummer. Bit of a drag, but um, excited for the new year and we're ready to feel better. <laughs> so hopefully I will be not sick very soon. Alright, we need a ton of sap because we're going to make a bunch more fertilizer. <coughs> okay, so... Fertilizer. We want the speed grow. The deluxe speed grow. Make sure it's here by going over all the spots twice. Because sometimes you don't know. Sometimes it's like, oh, um, no. Alright, so we got all that planted. Let's get it all watered. Here we go. <clears throat> Okay, this is better. I downloaded the Mixer app into my phone instead of watching over Safari. <laughs> oh, there you go. Nice. Very nice. Glad you're streaming again. Oh, yeah, me too, Arison. Yeah, I'll be streaming every Tuesday and Friday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time um, starting next Tuesday. So if you come early, I'll be doing pre-stream workouts, then I'll be playing a game, and then if you stay late, I'll be doing a cooking session. Uh, starting at 1 p.m., I'll be cooking lunch, and I'll be cooking a vegan recipe, so you guys can follow along and learn how to cook something new, if you want to hang out. So that'll be my schedule this year. Happy New Year, Red. I'm doing good. Make a cake today for my mom's birthday, which was pretty fun. Oh, happy birthday to your mom, Capri Sun. What kind of cake did you make? kind of cake. Okay, so let's get strawberries planted, and I'm going to probably plant this whole section right here, strawberries. So we'll get some... Do I have enough to make speed grow? More speed grow? I don't know. Your voice is incredibly soothing. Keep up the good work on YouTube. Oh, thanks, John. I'm really sick right now, so I probably sound like Snuffleupagus, but uh, I appreciate that. Thank you for watching. I went to my past neighbors today for dinner. They made this amazing Japanese-style soup with soba noodles and tofu. It was amazing. Oh, that sounds good. I forgot the geo. Oh, I wasn't going to go to Clint today. I'm going to do that another day. But thank you for reminding me, LW. I appreciate it. Okay, so speed grow needs pine tar and a clam. You know, I don't think I have that many clams, so I don't think I'll be making speed grow. I have seven. That's not going to happen. What about quality fertilizer? We definitely want to make that, so we're going to... Well, I'll plant these first and then I'll do that. Quality fertilizer is going to be for the cauliflower, which I'm going to plant today as well. 
So we can use junky fertilizer for this, for the strawberries, because it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> I really need to upgrade this hoe. <laughs> Just a standard vanilla one is chocolate icing. She likes the simpler cakes. Also, we are making Alfredo for dinner, which she loves. Oh, that's nice. Sounds like a special day. That's excellent. Sounds fun. Do you know if you have ever gotten an Omni Geode? I know you probably have. I just feel like asking. Um, I've gotten a ton of Omni Geodes. I mean, you get them all over the place mining. So yeah, I've had tons of them. You can also buy them from Sandy in the Desert on Wednesdays. Alfredo is a cream sauce. Um, it's like a creamy cheese pasta sauce made with milk and typically uh, Parmesan cheese, sometimes um, some other cheeses as well, but it is a dairy-based sauce. <laughs> Very creamy, cheesy pasta usually made with fettuccine noodles, which are a wider cut noodle. <clears throat> Only 85. Can't see how many I'm making because it's under my marker. Oh, I guess I can see in the bottom left. Okay, we'll go to 200 and we'll stop. Whoa, I said stop. <laughs> it got carried away. Uh-oh, it's getting dark already, guys. It's 8.30 and I haven't even got cauliflower on the ground yet. Fail. Okay, strawberries. The white bear has reached the rank of apprentice. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes I dig around for one of your older streams and listen to it while I play on server since it's weirdly soothing. Oh, that's nice. Thanks. Glad you enjoy them. Found it recently that simple non speed speed grows actually the most effective on blueberries. It gives you one more harvest. Oh, nice. That's good to know, Omer. You add, you add broccoli and chicken to your Alfredo? That's good too, that's pretty standard. Or shrimp. Shrimp Alfredo is really popular also. Hi, Renkin. How's it going today? How are you? So I got my Junimo is going to be working on this for me. I won't have to worry about harvesting, which is always nice. <laughs> Always nice to have the Junimos working for me. <clears throat> Sounds pretty nice. I might have to try Alfredo. Yeah, you might like it. You love my channel? Aw, oh, thanks, LW. I appreciate that. <laughs> thanks for watching. When the multiplayer update comes out, do you plan on inviting anyone? Yes, Craft. yes. I'll be playing um, the Stardew Valley multiplayer with my subscribers on Game Wisp. Which you can subscribe to me if you're interested at gamewisp.com slash redlacegaming. This link here for you. Yay! Do you like my new fireworks? I just got that. Isn't it fun? It's part of my new bot. <laughs> Firework hype! Yay! <laughs> <clears throat> I told you I got new musings. They're entertaining. <laughs> okay, so here we're going to plant my cauliflower and I'm gonna try for a giant one again we'll see how it goes and I think I'm gonna break this away and do this whole section cauliflower because I just haven't had any luck yet and I want to have some luck with my giant cauliflower and I don't know I have so much stuff in my inventory I don't know if I can make room for that right now um, I might plant that tomorrow I think is what's gonna happen so let's go put my strawberry seeds. We want to get as much strawberries out as we can. So let's try to finish the strawberries. I have 17 left. So we should be able to do another little bit here. We can do these two sections of strawberries. And then I can get those out of my inventory. <clears throat> Strawberries! Oh, come on. <laughs> it's clicking like everything but what I want it to. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
got Stardew Valley a few weeks ago, but when I got my Switch, I saw your farm vid on YouTube and immediately scrapped my farm once I realized how aesthetically pleasing a farm could look if I play and was scrapped. Oh, John. You should have just kept going. You can always redo it. For some reason, Mixer keeps crashing. That's not good, Capri Sun. Maybe try a different browser. You just subbed on Gameless earlier? Oh, you did? Let me look. I got up late today, so I didn't check messages. <clears throat> Ooh, a thing. Is multiplayer added yet? Um, no, it's not out yet, Demon. Soon, but not yet. Doesn't show that I got any new subscribers on Game Wisp. Um, Anticraft. You might want to double check that. <clears throat> but I don't see any new subscribers. You might want to double check, make sure you got confirmation on that. <coughs> Gotta finish that smoothie soon. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys, my throat. It's just, you know, is what it is. Hi, Dog Solitude. How's it going today? How are you? Welcome. All right, so I got strawberries. Rhubarb. It takes a long time, too. Maybe we'll make rhubarb up here. This could be rhubarb. We're going to probably plant till late. I might fall asleep on the farm and just let them take my thousand gold. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Alright, let's get fertilizer on this. It's getting late. Keep watching the thing. This farm is huge. How long did it take to get like that? Um, this is my first day of spring year three on this farm and I'm playing on the wilderness farm type. We did a little tour at the beginning of stream, and uh, you can watch the replay later on YouTube if you're interested and missed that. I'm here for vegan recipes. That's awesome, Dog Solitude. Uh, well, post stream, um, I'll be doing a vegan recipe. I'll be cooking for you guys. I'll be making a vegan stir fry today. So we'll definitely be doing some cooking. And uh, if you come early to stream, I do a pre-stream workout, and then I play a game, and then post-stream, I do a cooking uh, session. Today will be my first one ever, <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. But I will be making it a regular thing every Tuesday and Friday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and 1 p.m. is when we start the cooking every Tuesday, Friday. <clears throat> I don't know why I freak out at day one of any season. Mornings are always clearing debris and such off my soil until 9, then calculating exactly how many of each seed I need, then eating spicy eel for the speed and plant everything, then water anything, sprinklers missed. Wow. That's a lot there, Omer. <laughs> Love how organized your farms are. Gonna have to try to organize mine like that soon. Oh, thanks, Lutke. Or Lutis. Lutis? I think I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm apologizing now. Yeah, Dog Solitude, yeah. If you haven't joined um, Power Up Health, dog. Um, we're inspiring gamers to live healthier through nutrition, fitness, and mindfulness. I post vegan recipes there all the time, and if you pledged me on, or t not to me, to my team, Team Power Up, on Patreon, um, which the link is on the Mixer team page or on Discord, then you can get uh, access to the monthly harvest recipes, which I do every month, and I also post um, various posts there on Patreon as well, so you can get early access to those if you pledge. You get a week before anybody else. Year three, well then, yes. Yes, Demon X Games, year three. Okay, what was I doing? We were planting rhubarb. That's what I was doing. <laughs> rhubarb! I think I'm gonna actually make these green beans because I don't have to worry about being able to get to them anymore. Um, because the Junimos will collect them and they can walk through poles. So we're gonna do that for this whole section, I think. And then I won't need to worry about it. I can just have green beans growing and be like, ah. <laughs> That's one of the cool things about the Junimo huts is that you can plant things like this and you don't have to worry about getting to them because the Junimos will do it. 
so good little trick there. Oh, I fell asleep. I didn't get a water, but I got them all planted, so they're not going to be off on days. <laughs> Red lights look at Discord general cluster. I can't post pick on YouTube, so I did it on Discord. <clears throat> I will check it after stream. I promise. I don't try to check messages during stream just because I'm streaming, <laughs> but I will check afterwards. I tried to go vegan once, but after a month I kind of caved. I had no self control. Well, I'm mostly plant based, which means that. I eat primarily plant-based, two or three meals a day, if not all three. Um, I don't eat dairy at all, I've already cut it out entirely, um, and I don't like chicken anymore. <laughs> so I've stopped eating chicken, I, I don't eat uh, anything really, but occasionally I'm still a sucker for seafood and the occasional steak, so I do have those once in a while, but I'm slowly working everything out. Um, I figure it's better just to do it at my own pace versus to just go cold turkey, so I'm slowly getting rid of things. <coughs> So I'm pretty much vegan, but mostly plant-based. <laughs> Camping, my favorite, yeah. So I made 2,701 gold that day. Hi, Jenny. Jenny, I wanted to tell you, I'm going to be playing Field of Snow next week. For sure. 100%. For you. Because I got my new PC built, so now I can play it. I wanted to tell you that. <laughs> I'm doing okay, Jenny. I'm recovering from my cold still, so I'm a little stuffed up, but I'm working on it. How are you doing? Happy New Year. It was just to pick to see if I subbed right. Oh, okay, well, I'll check, um, here, I'll check it now. I'll open it up just for you. Um, where did you post it? Where did you post it, Annie Craft? Because I don't see anything from you. You can DM it to me. Thank you for that follow, Nog Stafari. You're fantastical, Mia. Welcome to the stream. Yay, and uh, fellow non chicken eater. Yes, Danny Chan. <laughs> How's it going, Danny? Happy New Year. Had to download Twitch. Hopefully, this doesn't crash. It seemed to crash when I typed longer messages. Oh, weird. <clears throat> That's so strange, Capri Sun. Like you, I could never give up steak. I do enjoy a good steak. Yes. <laughs> I like fillets. <laughs> Got better with decorating, making things look good but efficient. Thank you for the follow, Dog Solitude. You're fantastical, Meow. Welcome to the stream. Oh, you deleted it. Oh, okay. Steak. Been looking at Feel the Snow, I guess, next week. I'll know if I should get it. Yes, yeah. I'll be playing it next week. A new indie game. For sure. Yeah, it should be fun. I've been wanting to play it since last year, and um, I wasn't able to play it because my PC wasn't able to run it, but I upgraded my PC, as some of you know, and now I can play anything. <laughs> Beautiful sunny day tomorrow. <clears throat> Spirits are very happy today. They'll do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. Day two of spring, year three. Check on baby Ken. Where's my husband? Must be outside. <clears throat> okay, PMD, you don't have to look at it, but I'm just saying. All right. Thank you, Annie Craft. I'll check it after stream. Let's drop off the stuff I was meaning to drop off. My cheeses. Filet is your favorite. I have difficulty with steaks. They have fat all over them. Yeah, I don't really like um, most steaks, um, but I like... <coughs> Excuse me. I like a filet now and then, but I eat really small ones. I've really drastically cut down on my portions of meat when I do eat meat. Um, I'm just not interested in it as much, but I really like a little filet, like a four ounce, and I like a uh, skirt steak with Mexican food. Those are the two steaks I eat. I don't eat any other types. If I could, I would eat nothing but seafood and the occasional turkey. Yeah, shrimp and uh, tilapia are two things I really like. <laughs> and salmon. But other than that, I'm plant-based. <laughs> Those are my weaknesses still. I'm working on it, guys. <laughs> Red lace. This is a beautiful gift. Thank you. 
Do the levels in Discord actually change anything? Just hit 15 in power up. Um, in power up, no. They are just woohoo bragging rights for now. Um, at some point we might add rewards, but right now there's no rewards associated with them. In uh, the Crimson community, as you rank up, you can earn new roles in Discord. I got up early and watered some crops for you. I hope it makes your job a little easier today. That was a transitional. <laughs> Going to eat some pie. What kind of pie are you having, LW? What kind of pie is on the menu for today? My friend has gotten to year over year 104. What? I didn't believe him at first, but then he turned on screen share. I was amazed. I didn't even know you could go that long. That's crazy. Did he just sleep through every day? Like, or is he actually playing? Chocolate. I live on chocolate and vegan pizza and coffee. <laughs> vegan pizza and coffee. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> Dear Red Lace, thanks again for coming to my art show. It was such a success. <clears throat> Now I can't send people's messages. It sounds like you're having computer trouble today, Capri Sun. <clears throat> seafood is a really good source of protein, which is why I eat it and more than any other meat. Uh, seafood is a really good source of omega 3s. I get most of my omega 3s through um, chia seeds, and um, I eat plant based proteins. So I get only protein from plants. Primarily um, legumes, so I get all my amino acids and proteins from plants. Plant powered. <laughs> it is very important that if you do go vegan, you know that you are getting the proper nutritional values of things that you need because a lot of things aren't as easy to obtain when you're vegan. So it is important to understand that before you make a transition. Vitamin B12, D, calcium, and protein being the main four. <laughs> I don't eat seafood, my mom's super allergic, and one time after eating some shrimp flavored chips, I was a bit sick, so I'm not risking it. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, don't do that. It was such a success. I sold nearly all of my sculptures, and everyone was so positive and encouraging. I hope to see you again soon. Leia. You do enjoy a vegetarian dish every now and again. Well, that's good, Danny. Vegetarian dishes are good. He was actually playing us in his in his greenhouse was full of ancient seeds, completed museum, full iridium tools, it was insane. Wow. That is crazy. There is new stuff. Happy New Year and I'm great, enjoying it being cooler. Oh, has it been really hot, Jenny? I like the cool weather. New stuff on Feel the Snow, I mean. Oh, nice. Awesome. On my phone, it's hard to fix anything in my phone. I have to check some stuff later. Yeah, it might be that just your phone has updates or something. Yep, B vitamins are tricky, but we have Marmite in the UK. <laughs> Marmite? What's Marmite dog solitude? I'm not familiar with that. Right now I supplement for vitamin B. I get my vitamin B from a supplement, which I'm hoping to get food-based eventually, but right now I'm supplementing. Thank you for the follow, Pekulska. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. P-K-L-S-F-A. You're fantastical, Mia. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Last night, a JoJo team member found you incapacitated. A medical team was dispatched to bring you home safely. We're glad you're okay. You've been billed a thousand gold for the service. Morris. Yeah. Hey, kid. I found this in this drawer somewhere. Thought you could use it. Pam. Pam found a beer in her drawer. Interesting. <laughs> for you, it hasn't snowed all winter? Oh, wow. Isn't Marmite an Australian thing? Uh, I'm not sure. I We don't have it here that I know of. I'm not sure what it is. Three iridium from my Statue of Perfection. How about that? Daily iridium. Woohoo. We should be able to, yeah, make some iridium bar. At least one. Get some iridium going. <clears throat> Alright. I've only heard of Marmite through British YouTubers making fun of it. Yeah, I, I'm not familiar with it. I honestly do not know. You got five inches of snow? Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot of snow. 
All right, so let's do flowers down here. Perhaps, I don't know, what should we do down here? We'll plant a couple things here real fast. Maybe potatoes. These can be potatoes. Perfect. Potato, potato. Tomato, tomato. Mermite is a salty paste made of yeast. Oh, okay, so it's like nutritional yeast then is probably what it is. <clears throat> Salty is an understatement. Oh, okay. That's probably not something I would eat because I don't eat a lot of sodium. I limit my sodium. Ooh, a truffle. Um, but yeah, you guys really sold it. You know, it sounds so appealing now. <laughs> I need in my chest, goat. Sage, move. Everybody, get out of the way. I can't get to my pail. Because the goat's in the way. There we go. <laughs> Hello, Watch Tornet. Do I read your Twitch chat too, or mostly just YouTube chat? Um, I read all three chats. I read Mixer chat, YouTube chat, and Twitch chat. I have them all in one feed. How's it going, Watch Tornet? How are you today? It's so salty, it hurts. Oh, jeez. Sounds painful. <laughs> so salty, it hurts. Sounds like a song. All that, she doesn't even have milk right now. Slacker goat. It's made of yeast extract, but it's actually made from brew beering, according to Mrs. Google. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, Sage has no milk. Now I'm milking air, that's good. <laughs> you always add extra salt. Thank you for the follow, Watched Hornet, you're fantastical, Mia. Welcome to the stream. We had a state of emergency because of the snow cyclone. Snow cyclone? Never heard of that. We got 12 inches, but New England always pulls through, and we somehow cleared a food of snow from the roads before 6 a.m. Wow. That's nuts. That's a lot of snow. A snow cyclone. I haven't heard of a snow cyclone. How very interesting. Do I have any more milk in here that I need to get rid of? No, okay. <laughs> Have I found a dino yet? No, I have not. <laughs> Still no dino. It's a bit of a British institution. You either love it or you hate it. Oh, okay. Are you from Britain, Dog Solitude? If you don't mind me asking. If you're not comfortable answering, please do not bother. Dance. Disco kitty. <laughs> Heard it snowed in Florida a few days ago. Ah, it's snowing all over the place. Okay, too many animals. Let's get my grass planted in here, shall we? We're gonna hope this spreads like wildfire. Get some grass going. I forgot to let out the chickens. <laughs> it's true. I did forget. I've been trying to grow trees over here, but they're just taking their sweet time. <sighs> they're just not growing fast enough. Get some grass out there. I can't get to this little patch. I should probably like break a fence and get out there. Because this could be grassy all the time. <laughs> now I need to get one piece of hardwood so I can replace my fence. How silly. All the East Coast is in the Ice Age, according to the news. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, I heard it's been pretty cold. <clears throat> it's been pretty cold all over the place, from what I understand. It hasn't been too bad here, actually. I've been sick, so I really haven't been in it very much, but from what I understand, it hasn't been too bad. Daniel's been out and about in it, but I haven't. Grass, 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 grass. We're just planting grass everywhere we can. Get some grass growing. Phone has been ever so annoying. Oh, I'm so sorry it's been so bothersome for you never fun. Grass, 
grass all around. Oh, I got one piece left. Where do I stick it? How about up here? <laughs> one piece of grass. <laughs> totally British. Me old China. Me old China. What's that mean? <clears throat> Have you seen if your name, your pet's number like this 73, you'll get an item? Have you seen if your name, your pet's numbers, oh, if you name your pet's a number. Um, no, I haven't seen that, Jenny. I haven't seen it or heard of it. That is unknown to me. Did I water these already? I'm so, f I can't remember what I was doing, to be honest. I knew I was getting rid of all this grass. I have so much to do at the beginning of a new year. <laughs> hey, have any mixer tips on how to get followers? Watch Tornet. Networking. Network, network, network. Um, another good thing to do is to stream on a regular schedule. Um, but yeah, networking is a great way to make some new friends and meet new people, make connections. Right. I don't think I have any extra eggs. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Apparently the two Twitch and Mixer apps don't work properly with the new iPhone updates. Oh really? That's weird. I don't have an iPhone. I have an Android, so I would not know. Okay, what is this? Rhubarb? I thought I planted all my rhubarb. I must not have. All right, well, I guess we need to plant one more row of rhubarb. How about here? Here looks good as place of any. I should have one left. There we go. Okay, so let's drop that off. Put that there. And then... Coffee. We're gonna have a ton of coffee, I know. Um... Let's plant a row of these parsnips real quick, and then we'll just replace them later. We'll just do parsnips for now and then take that out of my inventory, because I don't really want to have a ton of parsnips. So we'll just plant these, and these can be our replacement crops. <coughs> Alright, so let's put those away. We're trying to clear out some inventory rooms so I can plant all my stuff. Lots of stuff to plant. And I need to make a lot of um, fertilizer. If you put wallpaper number 108 in your incubator, it acts like a dinosaur egg. I have heard that, LW, but I don't believe it works on the Xbox version. I think it only works on PC. Can you post a link, Jenny? Yeah, go ahead. I think you should be able to. If not, let me know. So now I'm watching on Safari again with Mixer, where caps lock seems to be turned on by default. Also can't use emojis. <laughs> oh, poor Capri Sun. It was negative 18 on New Year's Day and I had to work that day. I went to leave and had to stay to help with a burst pipe. Oh man, Danny, that's a bummer. What a bummer. <clears throat> My old mate, it's rhyming slang, China plate equals mate. Oh, okay. I haven't heard that. <laughs> do I play Minecraft? I feel like you do from your characteristics, but I'm not sure, which is why I'm asking. By the way, I know you already said this, but I love you. You're the best YouTuber ever. Well, thank you, Annie Craft. I do play Minecraft, I play it all the time. Um, I was gonna play it today, but I changed my mind last minute. Um, but I have two servers. I have a realm uh, called the Power Up Realm for people that pledge on Patreon to my stream team. And then I have my own server, Crimson Craft, which is a Java PC version. So you can play with me on either of those if you sub or if you pledge to Patreon. It's an NPC, it says something like XX, but with numbers, it would give you an item with that name. Every item has code. If you name your pet a number like that, Marty says its name and gives you the item. Interesting. No, it removed it, Jenny. What are you trying to post? Um, maybe I can post it for you. If you want to DM it to me on Discord, I can post it. <laughs> if it's important. 108 is the code for Dino Egg and also for wallpaper. Interesting. You remember when he played Titanfall 2? Oh, Tactical Nuke Dude. Yeah, it's been a while since I played that. It's certainly been a while. <laughs> I 
How are you, Tactical? Bridge nurses love humor. <laughs> Everyone's got their own sense of humor. It's okay. All right, we're just going to try to get rid of some things here. I'm carrying around this random beer from Pam that she found in her drawer. <laughs> I need to get this cauliflower planted. The item thing. Uh, okay. I will post it. So if you're watching on YouTube, that is the code from Jenny for the the item thing she was talking about. Is it the same cost to join the realm of game must be on Patreon? Yes, it's five dollars either way. Yes. Same cost. Alright, time to make fertilizer so I can plant my cauliflower. Happy New Year! Happy New Year to you too, Avo Green. How are you? DM me on Discord? Thanks, Jenny. I got it. Alright, so we're gonna make fertilizer out of all these things. I always use my pots, my crab pots, to make fertilizer. I think it's the best way. Crabs are hard to come by, so we're gonna keep two of those. All right, so let's make fertilizer. I need sap. <clears throat> oh, that's okay, Capri Sun. Yeah, it sounds like you're having some troubles today. I completely understand if that's the case. We'll be here next time when your phone decides to behave itself. <laughs> so I can only make 41, that's not very many. It's probably not going to be enough. 48. Clams don't seem to work for that, interesting. 163 is the legend fish, that's how I got rich. <laughs> oh jeez. I don't like to play cheaty ways though, so I probably won't do that. Even if it would work, I probably wouldn't. I like to do things legitimately the way the game was meant to be. You know what I mean? Okay, so 48. So this would be 9. 18. 24. 24. So I should be able to do this whole section. I don't want to do these spots though, so we're going to actually do this. Because that's not going to help us try to get any giant cauliflowers. So we're going to do that so we don't accidentally plant there. And now we're going to, oops, just run down the whole row. Ugh. 20 crows, wow, did you see that? That was a lot. Just double check here, we got all the spots. <coughs> Usually whenever I start, I name myself minus 12. There's a video by Dangerously Funny on YouTube about this item thing. Oh, okay. I'm sure there are plenty of videos, yeah. Doesn't surprise me. Okay, so cauliflower, here we go. Try to get us a giant cauliflower. I've been trying for two years now. No success yet, but we're going to get one sooner or later. We have them on my other playthroughs. I know it's possible. <laughs> Alright, so let's get water on here. <clears throat> oh yeah, I, I bet he wouldn't because people would be upset if you took it out of the game. Whenever I start a new farm, I would name myself. Three legendary fishes every time someone says your name. What? That seems so trickery. Such trickery. Okay, so these are also going to be giant cauliflower, hopefully. Unless the Junimos harvest them, they might be close enough to the Junimos that they might try to harvest. We'll hope not, but it might happen. Because <laughs> the hut's just down there. It might be too close. If it is, we'll know for next season, and I'll just fence it off so they can't get up here. 
I don't think they can go through regular fences, can they? Guess we'll find out. <laughs> Gives me three when I do it. That's so weird. Hmm. How very interesting. Okay. Cauliflower. Check. All right. Cauliflower planted. Green beans are planted. What else do we have to do? Um, coffee. All right. I don't want to harvest coffee because it harvests so regularly, so we're going to make sure to get that on a Junimo hut. I think I'm going to do it right here. So this will be all coffee. My fire always goes out. <laughs> I swear I'm in the country illegally, it's okay. Crimson bot. <laughs> what? What happened, Omer? I missed it. Oh, I just turned out my fire again. <laughs> it's me, I'm the one doing it. Got to fertilize for those second callies. I did, Jenny, you're right. Oh no. <laughs> oh man, I did. You're so right. I did forget. They're never gonna be giant. Well, we'll see if the Junimos harvest them. I guess we'll just chalk it up to a practice. I think Junimos can't walk through fences, but not sure. I'm not sure either. I know they can walk through lattice crops, but I don't know if they can go through fences. So you could fence all the way around a hut and torture them by putting crops inside the fence? Oh, I wouldn't want to do that. Crimson Bot didn't let you use the soundboard? Really? That's weird. Um, looks to be working. That's strange. Yeah, I don't know. Not sure what to say about that, Omer. Maybe try refreshing? Okay, so that's going to be enough coffee. We have plenty of coffee. We don't need boatloads. So we're just going to store that. And we planted green beans. We'll probably do more cauliflower, but I want to get these other crops in too. So let's make this pretty flowers. Pretty flowers on the hillside. Pretty flowers made of ticky tacky. <coughs> okay. Actually, we'll just do all this flowers. I don't think fertilizer changes the chance for a giant crop, it just changes the quality, but I'm not sure. No, it does actually improve your chances. Experience has shown me. That's why you want to use the best fertilizer you can. It doesn't mean you won't get a giant crop, it just improves your chances if you have fertilizer. Dance, dance. <laughs> that soundboard is working. <laughs> okay, so plenty of flowers there. Let's do flowers here too. We'll do tulips. 11 o'clock. I should be able to get more stuff planted before I fall asleep. Flowers. <laughs> I think it's funny. I'm like closing fences while I'm trying to plant stuff because I'm just holding down the button. It's okay. <laughs> Fill up my watering can. <clears throat> Just the water button on the soundboard? The water button. It's working too. Oh, I haven't made a text command for that yet, Jenny. It's just on the soundboard. You have to hit the button. <laughs> Yeah, exclamation water isn't a thing. You have to hit the button on the soundboard for it to work. 
What year is this farm? It is year three, John. Day two of spring, year three. Okay, I got a boatload of tulips and flowers, so we're just gonna plant some more, I guess. Meow. Tulips. Hello, Professor Tardis. How's it going? Nice to see you. So, Red, will the pre-stream, post-stream stuff be in the replay on YouTube? Uh, yes, it will be. Yes, it will be in the replay on YouTube. Not always. It depends on what music I have playing. But if it doesn't get blocked by the copyrights, yes. <laughs> Jenny wishes everyone a nice day. We wish you a nice day, Jenny. <laughs> Sometimes I would name myself. Me, treasure chest, one startup, and a legend fish, all of which the items combine. That is crazy. Red lace, why the change to a plant based diet? Um, it just seems like the right thing to do. Um, <laughs> it's better for the environment, it's better for my body, it's better for the animals. Um, it just seemed like the right thing to do, and um, I wanted to get healthier. And from all the reading and research I'd done, um, people that are on a plant based diet. Um, have proven to beat many things like chronic diseases and illnesses, cancers, um, autoimmune disorders, all sorts of things. And so I just felt like it was something that I should do because um, it just seemed like the right thing. So that is why I decided to switch. <laughs> and I am reaping the health benefits. I've lost 16 pounds. Um, in 22 weeks and eight inches off my waist and I'm feeling awesome like I have more energy than I ever did before I sleep amazingly well um, I haven't seen a downside it's been fantastic so yeah <laughs> I can't recommend it enough it's amazing it also helps if you're um, if you're someone that suffers from depression it has been proven to help with that also um, people that are eating plant-based tend to be less depressed and less anxious than people that eat meat and dairy. Um, I'm not sure on the reason why that is, but it is a thing. So yeah, it's just all around. Feels good, man. <laughs> Crimson Bot has something against the water button on the soundboard, I guess. That's weird why it won't work for you. I don't know what that's about. Because <laughs> it is permitted for everyone. The dog almost blocked my bed. Um, I'm shocked I made it to bed. It's 1.50. I barely got in there. Let me check the bot. Um, water. Oh, that's why. Try it now. For some reason, a few of my buttons... There we go. For some reason, a few of my buttons got marked as sub only. Um, yeah, I'm going to check them all real quick. Because they should all be available. That is weird. Thank you for being so persistent about it. <laughs> Red Lace, I think I recall seeing this one in one of your videos, but did you get the starter up off your husband yet? I did, Annie Craft. Yes, I did. Yeah, and I did do a video on how to get a star drop from your spouse. It's on my YouTube channel. That is a video. So far, it looks to be good. My leg workout button was sub only for some reason, but I fixed it. The water one was. Not sure why. <laughs> I was doing this yesterday, and I have been sick, and so, you know, I could have just been in a half sleepy state. <laughs> I spent all day yesterday setting up this new bot. Okay, everything else should work now. I will refresh the board. And we should be good. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Yay, it works, yeah. Well, okay, I have to go, one, because of the weird stuff going on on the phone, and I have to make dinner anyway. It's nice to stop by. Have a nice night. 
Have a nice night, Capri Sun. District of mine. Fertilizer doesn't change chance for giant crops, but if not all crops are the same fertilizer, it won't work. Also, some are with and with not, it won't work. Yeah. I, from my experience, fertilizer makes a difference. So I made 1,806 gold. It works now. Yay! This kind of old one, I'm very grateful that you posted a video at the community center and where to catch all the fish. Oh, you welcome me, Craft. You're very welcome. <laughs> Hello, Magic Ninja Foka Z Planety Tezzi. <laughs> nice to see you. How's it going? When the stream's going to be done, my mom wants me to play with my sister. Sounds good, LW. Okay, so I got most of my stuff planted, and um, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> and so I'm going to take a quick break here, real quick. I'm going to go start some water before we do our cooking stream. And um, I'm going to play through one more day but I'm gonna get my rice going. So I will be right back. Give me like five minutes. <laughs> Okay, well, fun story. We forgot to get rice yesterday at the store, so I'm gonna use quinoa today instead, which means I don't have to go do that right now. <laughs> but I am going to switch over and we're gonna start our cooking stream. So, um, this is gonna be my first cooking stream ever and I'm very excited <laughs> to uh, cook for you guys. We'll be doing uh, a vegan stir fry today which should be fun. So I'm gonna go set up my other camera real quick and then I'll be right back. <laughs> to get some music up for you guys, but um, Spotify is like, nope. I'm gonna have to restart it here. There we go. All right, well, I'll be right back. We'll see you later, Annie Craft and LW. Have a good one. All right, that looks like we're just about there. 
trying to make sure I can get this up high enough so you guys can see. That looks pretty good. And Oops. Can you guys hear me? Did you guys hear that over there? Were you guys able to hear that when I was uh, over talking in the kitchen? You could hear me in the kitchen? Okay. <laughs> I'm trying out a different mic over there, so I'm not sure. But yes, we are going to cook. We are going to do it. <laughs> this is the plan. first. Thank you for the follow, McGee. Welcome. All right. Okay, so today we're making vegan stir fry. And I need my quinoa. I'm sorry, it's in this cupboard. We're going to get that going first. White quinoa. And quinoa is especially good for you, very healthy. And if you're on a plant based diet, such as myself, you definitely want to have quinoa because it's going to all your grains. So load up on the stuff. Let's see. We're going to do make three cups. So we need to combine one cup of quinoa with two cups of water, but we're going to rinse it first. Rinsing, it's very important so you can get rid of all the gunk that's on it. It has this like, um, quinoa has like a bitter shell, and if you don't rinse it or soak it, the bitterness comes through your food, and it's really unpleasant. <laughs> okay, so we're going to measure out a cup of quinoa. This is just regular white quinoa, but you could use a different color quinoa if you wanted. It doesn't have to be perfectly a cup, but just close enough. So we're going to just put it in the strainer. This is just a standard mesh strainer. So then we're just going to rinse the heck out of it <laughs> in the sink. That's what we're going to do. You guys still hearing me okay? So basically when you're doing this, you just kind of want to move it around with your hands and rinse it. You just want to get as much of that bitter exterior off. And normally I would soak this for like 10 minutes. If you do soak it, it will affect the cooking time, and so you'll want to cook it for less. But since we're just rinsing it, it'll cook normally.
Can you guys hear me in the kitchen? Am I talking to myself? Turn down the music. But have you guys been able to hear me in the kitchen? Anyone that's still here, hanging out? You can hear me? Okay. Everything's perfect. Okay. Awesome. Thank you guys. Hopefully I didn't turn the music down too low. I was worried you couldn't hear. I'll adjust it. extra water. It can kind of help it along by pushing it through a little bit, but it kind of needs a second to just do its thing. <coughs> Quinoa gets everywhere, by the way, if uh, you let it. So we're just going to let it sit in the bowl for a little bit. And then we need two cups of water. We're going to close this thing, seal it up good. So we're going to cook it in a regular pot, and you'll need a lid. So you'll need a pot with a lid. <laughs> you want enough room for the quinoa to expand, because um, it will grow in size, but you don't need a ton of room. So as long as you have some, you'll be good. So we need water. The measuring cups in the cupboard here. So, what is that? Two cups of water? Yes. So, the cool thing about quinoa is it cooks really fast, so if you're in a hurry, it takes like 15 minutes. It's pretty awesome. So, you totally have time to do this while you're prepping your veggies and stuff, which is what we're going to do. So, two cups of water. Piece of quinoa in my cup. <laughs> Must have been stuck in my hand. Thank you for the host, Butterfly. Thank you. How are you today? Thank you. Butterfly is a member of Team Power Up. Check her out. She's awesome. This is my IKEA stuff, fellow IKEA fans. Yes. Hey, I think. I have to ask you something. Can you message me in Discord DM? Don't get mad at me. Yeah, sure, conceived. Yeah, feel free to message me in Discord and I'll check it after the stream. I'm not checking Discord right now because I am cooking. So normally, if you're interested, quinoa takes on the flavor whenever you cook with it. So you could saute some like garlic and onions right here and it would kind of impart that flavor in your quinoa so you can make garlicky quinoa. Um, I'm not doing that today because I'm actually allergic to garlic and I eat it all the time, but when I'm sick, it affects me pretty badly. And so I try to limit my garlic and things I'm allergic to while I'm sick. So we're gonna do a little less of that today than I normally would. Normally I'd make garlic and quinoa, maybe next week or something, I'll show you how to do that. So we want to bring it all to a boil. So we got our quinoa all drained and mixed. We're gonna add it to our pot. We're going to crank the heat high, and we're going to make quinoa. So we're just going to get this out of here. You want to be careful getting this out, because when you're trying to get it out of the mesh seed, it kind of goes everywhere. <laughs> so you could end up with quinoa all over your kitchen. Just, just a heads up. Mm -hmm. And it's OK if you don't get it all out. It'll be fine. You just want to give it a little stir. A little stir. 
like to rinse things when they go, so we're gonna just get some of this out of here. That way I don't have a huge mess in the kitchen when I'm done. <laughs> fill that cup. Oh, this is my water over here. This is a water jug. I get my water from Whole Foods, so it's filtered so it doesn't have um, fluoride in it. And we just refill that thing with big three gallon jugs, so it's just a water. Had quinoa before and I'm thinking that I might not have liked it because it wasn't cooked properly. Yeah, if you don't rinse your quinoa, it's terrible. <laughs> so if you didn't like it before, it was either overcooked or it wasn't rinsed or wasn't soaked because it probably tasted bitter. And it is very bitter if you don't do those things. So that probably was it. And I forgot to check the cooking time. I forgot. Um, this kind is 15 minutes. And I usually cook mine a little less because I don't like it overcooked. If it gets overcooked, it gets gummy. <laughs> you love garlic? Garlic's awesome. Quinoa's awesome. You can use it in salads. Yeah, you can. It's really good in salads. You're right. Just catching up on chat here, guys can barely be music. I guess I can see some things like Ikea for Hook for Life. <coughs> I can turn up the music a little bit. I turned it down. I'll turn it up. Okay. One time I had it, I thought it was gross. I wasn't the one that cooked it. I had it from a restaurant. Sometimes restaurants do not do a very good job of cooking their quinoa. So we're just bringing this up to a boil. It's not there yet. So we're going to go ahead and start getting our other stuff ready. <clears throat> so, we're going to do a stir fry, a vegan stir fry. So we're going to get mushrooms. And those are brown mushrooms we'll be using today. Just kind of going to the fridge to see what I have and then deciding what I want. <laughs> I don't have a plan, guys. I'm just winging it. This is how I cook every day. I just go into the fridge and see what I got and then decide. This is broccolini. We'll save that. <laughs> um, we're definitely going to do some green onions. We're going to do some parsley. Let's do a zucchini. nutritious. It is very good with quinoa and lentils. Work and learn what you're making. I am making a vegan stir fry with quinoa today, Ava Green. Yes. Sounds delicious. I hope it is. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we got all our stuff. Let's measure out our corn first. I don't really measure, so when I say measure, I'm just going to kind of pile it till I think that's how much I want to eat. <laughs> So we're just gonna put some in a little bowl here, just so I can put the rest of this back in the freezer. That's probably too much, but I like vegetables, so I'm not gonna worry about it. If I have a little extra food, that's okay. I don't have to eat it all, <laughs> just because I have it. All right, corn. I'm not gonna do this whole carrot but I'm going to do a good amount of carrot. I use organic produce, so I don't um, always peel everything, but I wash it really well. We're just going to wash the parts that I want, and then chop it up. So since I'm going to be 
doing a lot of veggies, I'm not going to use a whole carrot. I'm probably going to use about a half of it. You're allergic to mushrooms? Oh no, Danny. Well, for you, skip the mushrooms. Definitely skip the mushrooms if you're allergic. Okay, so this is boiling. We're gonna put the lid on. We're gonna reduce the heat all the way down to its lowest setting. Lowest, very important. And we're gonna let that go for 13 minutes. Uh, so a timer. I like to do a little less cooking time than recommends. If you cook it for the whole 15, like the package says, it'll be gummy, and it's not good. So, <laughs> that'll be done cooking in 13 minutes. But we'll just wait there, and we don't do anything else. It's ready to go. You're allergic to all mushrooms. Oh, that's too bad. I eat mushrooms every day. <laughs> every day. I just had a kale salad with lime coconut chili dressing. It was so good. That sounds good. Sounds awesome. I love salad. Salad is amazing. I eat a lot of salad. I probably have salad. Oh, I don't know. I think I probably have a salad five days out of the week. If, yeah, at least. Um, I always have it for, well, not always, but I probably have romaine in the house all the time. I like romaine salads for my leafy greens. Um, I do big Mexican salads. You'll probably see me cook some of those for sure. So we got our carrots, <laughs> but I love those. Salads are the best, especially if you're vegan. Um, salads are really good. You get a lot of plant-based protein in a salad, and you get lots of nutritious veg. You get a variety of nutrients. I like to make my food, and this kind of applies universally. I like to make all my food as rainbowy as possible. And the reason for that is because the more colors your food has, the more variety of nutrients you're getting. So I figure let's just make it as pretty as possible. And then you get all sorts of stuff. I'm making, this is my zucchini. <laughs> and I'm using half. It's a small zucchini, but I'm only going to use half today. And then we're going to wrap the other half up. Yeah, I love mushrooms. Um, I eat them every day. They are so good for you. <coughs> so we'll save this. And we can use it again maybe tomorrow. So some people like to take up the middle of their zucchini, which if you want to do, you can put it into, you can cut it into quarters and kind of like cut down the side. But for what I'm doing today for a stir fry, I'm going to keep it bulk. So I'm not going to cut out the middle. Plus it's a small zucchini, so there's not a lot of season anyway. If it was a bigger one, you might want to take those out. Thank you for the follow. I'm a fairy. You're fantastical, Mia. Welcome to the stream. Have you watched the Domestic Greek Geek YouTube channel? I feel like you'd like it because she does a lot of vegan options. No, I haven't, Danny. I'll have to look into that. I haven't seen that one. Um, there is a couple I really like watching. They're not vegan, but um, Simon and Martina. I don't know if anyone's seen that. They, they do a lot of Japanese stuff. They live in Japan. And they, uh, they just kind of travel around and go do Japan stuff. And they do a lot of food. They eat a lot of places. And I just really like their personalities. They're really entertaining to watch. So I do watch a lot of Simon and Martina. They're one of my favorites. <laughs> I really need to figure out a way to get all my chats in one on my laptop while I'm talking to you guys. Because I'm going to have to work out some of these kinks. Remain is the area in my areas on recall for salmonella. Staying away right now. Oh, yeah. Don't eat that. Then. <laughs> that does not sound delicious at all. There's no recall here, so that's good. Okay, green onions. These I also eat pretty much all the time. I love green onions. So we're gonna take one and use it. Do the whole thing. No onions, no bad. <coughs> hey, babe. Hey. I'm cooking in the streaming. Cool. How's that going? Good. <laughs> How's the coffee shop? Uh, pretty slow. Quiet. Well, that's good. 
Alright, so we're just going to cut the green onion kind of in a diagonal angle. That way you uh, have prettier onions. And this knife's not the sharpest, so I kind of have to cut it slow so I can make sure to get all the way through it. Green onions are, if they're hard to cut with your knife, you can also use scissors. They work really well to cut green onions. But we're just kind of cutting it a diagonal. It kind of gives it an Asian -y look. A lot of Asian cuisine has green onions cut in diagonal, so it gets this shape. Let's see. <laughs> Green onion. Just throw away the end. We don't want to go all the way to the bottom, so we cut off the top there. Oops. <laughs> hey, Daniel, yeah, Daniel's home. Did we just hear Legendary Daniel for the first time? Yeah, he's here. He's here. You no, know, this is a topic I should have asked you earlier when you were playing Stardew Valley, but you played Terraria. I do play Terraria, yeah. I haven't played Terraria in a long time. But I do play Terraria. I, I used to play it a lot. It's a game I really enjoyed. Um, it's actually what got me into Star Starbound. It's another game very Terraria-like. But yeah, it's a fun game. So this is parsley. It's just regular curly parsley. Not the flat leaf variety, but either one would work. We're just using curly because that's what I have. So we're just going to pull off the stems of it. We don't want to eat the stem bits today. So we're just pulling off the curly leafy bits. And then we're going to chop it up real good. really fun. It's a really great game. Yeah, if you like Terraria, I recommend you check out Star Unbound. It's also by Chucklefish. Um, Chucklefish published um, uh, <laughs> Stardew Valley, which we were playing earlier. So, if you like Terraria, I'm guessing you will also like Starbound. Okay, so we got a couple cremini mushrooms here. This one I already prepared yesterday, but I had too many, so I just put it back in the bag. So it's already got its stem off, but we're just going to kind of clean it off from the dirt that might be on it. Which, these look pretty clean, so I'm not too worried about it. So if it's really bad, you might want to wash it. This one's not bad. So I'm just going to pull the stem right out. So we're not going to eat the stem today. And I'm going to cut these into kind of quarters. So we're going to cut it a half, a half, and then we're going to cut each little quarter in half again. So you end up with these cute little <laughs> bite-sized chunks. This is just two mushrooms. <clears throat> All right. Get that out of the way. Get this out of the way, too. After the stream, can you pay me on Discord at the IP for your Minecraft server? Um, Andy Craft, the IP for my Minecraft server is private. It is for subs only. So if you sub to me on Gameless or pledge to my team, Team Power, on Patreon, which we're inspiring gamers to live healthier lives through nutrition, fitness, and mindfulness, you can get access either way um, by doing either of those things to the Power of Realm for Minecraft and the Crimson Craft server. <coughs> yeah, that includes Crimson Craft. So Crimson Craft's also sub only. Yeah. Either way. All right, so we got some tomatoes. And since I already have yellow and orange, these are these are like a variety pack of tomatoes. We're just going to do a couple red ones for color. Because I already have yellow in the corn and orange with the carrots. So we're just going to rinse them off. 
is fresh ginger, ginger root. I love it. Like that. And it's got a little skin on it, you can see. And so we're going to kind of peel some of that off. And uh, kind of like whittling wood. So we're just going to whittle some of the skin off so we can actually get some slices without any skin. And we're just whittling it off the bit we're actually going to use today because otherwise it'll go bad more quickly. So we need a little do really thin slices of this. And because I'm not doing any garlic today, I'm going to do a little extra ginger. But you could also do a fresh garlic clove. A clove of garlic would be really good in this. I'm so glad to see someone else that doesn't put tomatoes in the fridge. Yeah, Danny, yeah, you don't want to put tomatoes in the fridge. They actually lose their flavor and they lose some of their nutritional value. So, yeah, you are right. You want to store them in a cool place, not in the fridge. You can store sliced tomatoes. Like, once you actually cut into them, you can put them in the fridge, and then you can keep them for another day or two. But until they're cut, you just want to keep them on the counter or in a shelf like I do. <coughs> yeah. It's too cold for them in the fridge. Yeah, you're right, Danny. Yep, yeah, Omer, you should try not putting them in the fridge. It'll definitely help the flavor of your tomato, too. So weird, I used to play Terraria a lot in Minecraft when I first started Valley Minecraft. Yeah, <laughs> it, they're definitely different games. Yeah, you, you can change your games up. You don't have to always be playing the same thing. That's totally okay. Okay, so we've cut the, the ginger in thin slices, and now we're going to slice it thin again. We're just laying it flat and then thinly slicing it. Careful not to chop your fingers off. <laughs> and then we're going to just mince it up to small pieces. You don't want a huge bite of ginger, so just kind of chopping it roughly into small bits, kind of like you would garlic. Similar thing applies here. Okay. All of my knife. <laughs> okay, so oh, quinoa done. Okay, so we're actually going to take that off key and <clears throat> you can take the lid off, and that's probably going to be hot. So we're going to grab a hot over. Take a little off and just give it a quick little stir. Here's our cooking oh. So it's really fluffy. And um, just going to move it around a little bit and then just let the lid in a, a jar so kind of on and off so the steam can get out. Because we don't want it to cook anymore. We just want to keep it warm while we're sauteing all our vegetables here. <coughs> interesting, yes, tomatoes, interesting. So we have mushrooms, zucchini, carrot, corn, green onion, curly parsley, baby tomatoes, and ginger. We're also going to get some toasted sesame oil for a little flavor, and black sesame seeds, and toasted plain sesame seeds. We're not going to use much of that oil, but we will use a little. So 
we're going to get the saute pan. This is a skill, it's fine. There's rogue quinoa on the stove. And we're going to get a little coconut oil. You can use olive oil or avocado oil for this. But we're just going to use a really tiny bit. You don't want hardly any. Like probably not even an eighth of a teaspoon in there. It's just enough to kind of get the mushrooms from sticking. And we also have these really handy little water bottles. They have that condition made for me. And we're going to fill in with water. So I like to saute with water a lot instead of oil. And so we just got this bottle so I can do that easily. But we're just going to put a little coconut oil in. You love mixing sesame oil and ginger, it works great. Yeah, it's really good together. It's a good combination. Tier 5 and I haven't made nearly as much as I need. Got a dino egg the other day. Oh, nice, Avo. Nice, I still haven't got a dino egg. <laughs> still haven't. Okay, so we're going to turn our heat to a medium, medium high. And just get our pan hot here. We'll just move that little bit of oil we put in around. It's kind of melted because this is the same burner I was just using, so it's already kind of hot. So it shouldn't take long. Just move it around a little. And we'll give that a second. So we got one of these for olive oil, too. doesn't fit on our counter. It's too big. And it doesn't fit in our cupboard even. It's like, it's too big. <laughs> so we got bottles for it too. And we put the olive oil somewhere else and use this bottle and then it takes up less counter space because we live downtown. It's a small kitchen living. Anything to have less room being hogged on our counter is great. Chief, how are you today? How's it going? Okay, so that should be hot now. So now we're going to add in our mushroom and our carrots. First, they take the longest to cook. So I'm going to get them in first. Sizzle. Just stir them around a little bit so they don't stick. Mushrooms, especially right when you first put them in the pan, really stick down. So you kind of want to keep them moving when you first put them in. And if you need to, add a little water. Wallpaper 108 and incubator, and it'll also act as a Yeah, Andy Craft. Someone was saying that earlier for Stardew, but um, I don't think it works on Xbox version. I think it only works on PC because I've tried it on Xbox and I haven't been able to get it to work. Okay, so I want to get our zucchini in. So those mushrooms don't burn or stick. Just like we're doing fine. I'm gonna get out a bowl. And we're gonna just pop the bowl in the microwave. Heat it up. I like to put my food that's hot in a hot bowl. So get our bowl ready. Thank you, Arbiter Chief. Happy New Year to you, too. I'm doing well. I'm just getting over a cold, but I'm feeling better all the time. Gotta go for now. It's pretty late. Enjoy your lunch. Thanks, Over. Have a good one. We'll see you later. All right. So now we want to add the corn. 
Or it doesn't take long. Maybe two minutes. So you can see what we got going on here. Just like that. Keeping it moving. What kind of blender do you use for smoothies? Um, I do not use a Vitamix. I use a Blendtec. And uh, I think Blendtec works better than Vitamix in my opinion. Um, they have a more high-powered motor, and uh, they work awesome. I couldn't recommend Blendtec enough. Uh, if you watch some of my videos on my Power Up Health journey on YouTube, um, I show actually some of the benefits of the Vitamix. It has a wider canister, too, and you don't need a plunger to push everything down, which is pretty helpful if you're using um, doing a lot of greens in your smoothies. So I just added the ginger. I'm going to add maybe a teaspoon of sesame oil. Probably not even a teaspoon, maybe like a half teaspoon. We're going to mix it up. Oh, it smells so good now. <laughs> I'm going to feed this cold. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now we're going to add the tomatoes. And we want to be kind of gentle mixing the tomatoes in so we don't break them apart. So yeah, definitely recommended one tech. Here's the canister. Made one this morning, so it's still dirty. But the blend tech's awesome. The definitely the plunger thing too, and the canister is much bigger. The blade on the, the blender part is much bigger too. And it's like a half an inch bigger than the vitamins. So if you're looking into investing in a blender, I would check out one tech. And you can go to blendtech.com. I am in no way sponsored by Blendtec or anything, so <laughs> just my own recommendation. Put in the green onions now. I've removed it off the heat here. I'm just going to turn the burner off. And we'll just mix the green onions about. We don't really, oops, there goes another carrot. <laughs> we don't really want to cook the green onions. We just kind of want them to warm up a little bit. Okay, so the bowl's hot. Take the lid off the quinoa here. And I like to do a cup of grains. So about a whopping spoon like that, that's about a cup. And I just kind of put them on the bottom and spread it out so it kind of fills up the bottom of the bowl so it looks pretty. <laughs> and now we have our grains for the rest of the week. The beauty of that. <laughs> 15 minutes and we're ready for the week now. So now we're going to take our veg and we're just going to put it right on top. We got our parsley, we'll just kind of sprinkle it on top. seeds. I like a lot of sesame seeds. This is totally optional by the way. <laughs> but I think it goes really good, especially with a little bit of sesame oil. And then a little black ones just because I love the color. Okay, that looks awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna switch back over to the other to my desk. I'll be right back. Okay, so we got our amazingly, you can't tell because there's a green screen. <laughs> I'll take a picture of this and we'll put it on Discord so you guys can see what it ended up looking like. But we'll take a nice photo of it. it turned out so pretty. Here, I'll show you the photo. <laughs> Have I ever baked a pizza before? Um, I have made pizza before. I used to bake pizza and I made the dough from scratch, but I don't bake pizza anymore, no. There it is. 
<laughs> pizza, homemade pizza dough is definitely good to let your dough rest though. You want to let it ferment for a day to give it all the good flavors. <laughs> I want to talk to you about meat. Never put cooked meat and raw meat together because people will get sick. Oh yeah, or, or, yeah, I would never do that. I actually um, cook vegan food, so I won't be cooking meat on stream. Enjoy your stir fry. Bye. Finish work heading home now. All right, Avo, have a great one. All right, so let's taste it because, you know, that's the best part. <laughs> It's amazing. <laughs> it's really good. So definitely recommend this one. A healthy vegan stir fry with quinoa and sesame. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream today. It's been fun. First stream back for 2018. And um, I have to leave my mail. I hope you guys have a great day. Be sure to check out my sponsor, WebRound, who provides my awesome green screen. And you can get 10% uh, off with the code POWERUP, P-W-R-U-P. So check them out. And uh, also check out the team sponsors, Technisport, Gamerseps, and my other sponsors, Ramshard and GetBucket. I'll use POWERUP for the code for savings on cool stuff. And uh, thanks to my subs. Thank you all for hanging out. It's been fun today. It's been really great doing the pre-stream workout, playing some Stardew Valley, and then cooking for you guys. And um, I'll be doing this uh, Tuesday next week, starting at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I hope I'll see you guys then. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for coming to my. You could always cauliflower for your pizza crust. You could, Danny. Yeah, that's true. Cauliflower would probably be awesome. I've never thought about doing cauliflower for pizza crust, but cauliflower has so many uses. You can use it for so many things. Like, um, excuse me. I've used it for um, tacos. Like instead of meat, you use cauliflower, just grate it up and it's really good. So you could totally use it for that too. But I haven't tried pizza crust. Technisport chairs are amazing and so is the GG subs. Oh, chronic, hey! Get a shout out for Chronic before I head out. He's another streamer for Team Power Up. Plays a lot of Minecraft, so check him out. <laughs> so it's been fun, everybody. I'm gonna go enjoy my stir fry. Bye! Oh, we should see who's online before I go. Let's see who we can go visit. Don Mixer here. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna go see Straub. So we're headed here. If you guys wanna join me, we're gonna go visit Straub. <laughs> Drop her a host. So I will see you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.